Hi, my name is Suresh Krishnan. I'm one of the technical marketing engineers for Jumbo Switching Products. In this video, we'll see a quick demo of application flow path analysis using Juniper's CAE solution. Before we go into the demo, let us look at the problem that we are trying to solve with CAE. Analytics in networking is device centric. Tons of logs or statistics are collected from different networking components. Although there is a lot of information in this data, it is not easy to understand the business or application impact from this data. Strong cross-domain expertise is required to correlate and troubleshoot. Pervasive virtualization in computing and networking has led to increased complexity in monitoring and troubleshooting application performance. Because of the manual process, monitoring and troubleshooting is expensive and time-consuming. Juniper's Cloud Analytics Engine solution provides tools to request, collect, correlate, and visualize application-specific network statistics. Provides visibility and correlation across compute and network domains, enabling reduced operation costs and also time to resolution. Like most of Juniper's products and solutions, CAE is open and standards-based. Let us look at a quick demo of the Cloud Analytics Engine solution. In this demo, we'll look at the application flow path analysis use case. We are using IPERP to track bandwidth availability between two application servers. As you can see here, bandwidth between the two servers has reduced by half. Let us see how CAE can help the application admin to troubleshoot this issue. On Network Director, we can look at the flow path analysis to understand the network behavior for this application. Network Director shows the flow path for this application. You can see which set of information collected from the network specifically for this application. Here we can see the path that the application is taking. The graph at the bottom shows the per hop latency for this application. The red mark here indicates that there was a path change for this application. You can see the old path and the new path. You can also see this information in the topology view. Apart from the path change, let us check if there is anything else that could have affected the performance of the application. We could dig deeper into the device specific statistics collected for this application. On this device, you can see the ingress port and the egress port for this application and also the interface statistics for this device when the flow path was captured. Here, we can see that there was a sudden spike in the bandwidth utilization of the egress interface. You can also see the details like the time when this change happened. This spike in bandwidth utilization could have caused the application performance issues that we were noticing earlier. In the topology, we can see that there are some alarms on the devices. If you hover the mouse over the device, you can see that there is one critical alarm and then one information alarm. To see more details about these alarms, you should go to the fault monitor mode of Network Director. In the fault monitor mode, we can see that there are two alarms on this device and there's a link down critical alarm. This could be one of the causes for the application performance issues that we were noticing earlier. Now the application network administrators have very specific data points to troubleshoot the application performance issue instead of having to manually deal with tons of logs and correlation. That brings us to the end of this demo. Thank you for watching.